Start two as Middlesbrough career for ex-Rangers striker Chris Boyd, who scored on his debut for Middlesbrough last night in the one-all draw against Irish semi-professional club Athlone Town. Now, some of the best athletes in the world have been in the North East over the last couple of weeks. And in the autumn, Britain's best youngsters will be here when the region hosts the prestigious UK school games for the very first time. Well, it gives our up-and-coming talent a taste of what it might be like to compete in the Olympic Games. And this morning, Olympic badminton medalist Gail Ems was on hand to provide extra inspiration. Terrific from Gail Ems. First in defence. I had a dream when I was a little girl about being an Olympic athlete. And, you know... It was just, when I walked around in that Olympic village with my GB tractor on, it was just the proudest moment of my life, you know. Just the fact that I've, I've been representing my country and stood on a podium and, you know, I'm one of 500 people that have ever won a medal for Great Britain Olympic Games and I think that will just, you know, it's going to be with me forever. And now the Olympic silver medalist and former world and European mixed doubles champion wants to pass on that dream and her expertise to a new generation of badminton players. This year's UK school games have come a little too soon for these youngsters, but Gail thinks they're vital in preparing athletes for the big time. I think it's really important for kids to get that high level of competition because for me, you know, it was all about going out there and trying to win at every possible opportunity. And that is actually what sport is about. It's about winning and, you know, going out there, doing your best and trying to be competitive and win and win. And it's the perfect opportunity for kids to go out there and experience a multi-sport event, what it is actually like at a Commonwealth Games or an Olympic Games. And if kids say, do you know what, actually this is me, this is where I want to be, and maybe that will set them up for going for, you know, bigger and better things. As well as the newly refurbished Gateshead Leisure Centre, the International Stadium, Sunderland Aquatic Centre and Newcastle and Northumbria Universities will host the 10 sports that make up the Games. And while Gail herself couldn't be quite as hands-on today as she would have liked, after just having had a baby, she's hoping she can still inspire some of these young players to follow in her footsteps. Oh, what a lovely lady she was as well. Well, Cricket finally and Durham have made a good start to their county championship match against Lancashire at Chesley Street. Paul Collins